and even the sons. Uh -huh. it, there was very little say in, in who you marry. Mm -hmm. You just know, I'll probably have to marry within my clan, mm -hmm. within my religion, mm -hmm. um, but it's left to the parents to decide exactly to make, who. Yes, to make those decisions uh -huh. of who, who marries who. I love weddings <laughs> and I am what they call a hopeless romantic so <laughs> that means I um, things to do with love mm -hmm. and romance mm -hmm. make me go oh, oh. I remember in the book of Genesis mm -hmm. there's no wedding um, Adam and Eve was there a wedding no Okay. No, there was when no. I, I, or, or at least it's not recorded. Not or it did not happen. Uh, 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 yes, in in the way that we are accustomed to mm -hmm. the ceremony that we mm -hmm. associate with mm -hmm. with weddings. Mm -hmm. I think later in um, later in the Old Testament is where we see some sorts of Ceremony. ceremonies accompanying, uh, accompanying the whole idea of marriage and two people coming together. Mm -hmm. Um, and when you look at history mm -hmm. generally, um, that uh, it was just the idea of two families mm -hmm. coming together and agreeing, uh, and agreeing to, to exchange children. Like you said, uh, that agreement it is um, it was a contract. It was, mm -hmm. it was something being done for um, financial, just strategic. Mm -hmm. The fathers were strategic in whom they gave their daughters uh -huh. to.